Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use a linear layout. A linear layout is one of the most easy to use view groups available in Android. It arranges the child views either in a single row or in a single column, which is decided by the orientation of the layout. And now uh, this is the default layout that is created when you create a new Android project and uh, you can notice we always have the relative layout as our root layout. We're going to change this to a, li a linear layout. To do that, go to main.xml. And this is the XML view of our layout. And we're going to change this relative layout to linear layout. Save this. And you'll, you'll also need to change the end tag, which is also a linear layout. Now we have the linear layout. Let's go ahead and drag some components inside it. Let's drag a button. Let's drag another button. And another button. So you can see all these buttons are being arranged in a single row. That's because the default orientation of the linear layout is horizontal. So when you have a horizontal orientation, the child views are arranged in a single row, one after another. Let's go ahead and try to change the orientation property. Click on the ellipsis button and choose vertical instead. Click OK. And now you can see that all the elements are arranged vertically one after the other. This is how a linear layout behaves. You also have a gravity property which decides how the views are aligned. Let's go ahead and change the gravity of this layout select right and let's click OK. Now you can see all the child elements are aligned to the right of the linear layout. There are several combinations that you can use. You can also use center which aligns the button to the center of the screen and we can use top and center as a combination which will align the buttons to the top of the screen and center them. When you use a linear layout, there is also another interesting property that is called as the weight property. To access the weight property, click on any of the child views and expand the layout parameters from the property sheet and then you can see a property called as weight. The weight property decides how the free space must be shared among the components on the screen. So let's go ahead and give this a value. Let's type in one. And you can see since the weight property of button two and button three is zero, that is it is undefined, the remaining free space is distributed to button one. And now let's go ahead and uh, assign weight properties for button two. We can add one. And for button three, let's give it one as well. Now you can see since all the three buttons have a weight property of one, the free space is distributed evenly across all the buttons. And if the linear layout's orientation is vertical, then the free space is shared vertically. Whereas if the orientation of the linear layout is horizontal, then the free space will be shared horizontally. Let's go ahead and change the orientation of our linear layout to horizontal click OK and now you can see the free space is distributed evenly am among all the buttons and one thing you can notice is the free space that is available around the buttons and this is the padding that we have specified uh, I mean not as the Eclipse has automatically specified to these uh, to this layout let's go ahead and remove the padding we have the padding property, let's remove it, save this and let's go back to the graphical layout. Now you can see that the free space is shared evenly among all the buttons. Let's go ahead and change this once again to vertical and you can notice the free space is distributed vertically among all the buttons. And let's go ahead and change the weight property to 0.5. Now you can see that the free space is divided based on the ratios 
of the weightages assigned to each button. Using a li linear layout is really simple and these are the properties you should be really concerned about. The first one is the orientation property and the second one is the weight property. That's about it. A linear layout is ideal whenever you want to arrange your views in a single row or in a single column. Thanks for watching.